pursuit of total control. Cao Cao moves on Jing, capturing it in the blink of an eye and continues south. Soon, he arrives at Sun Quan's Yang province. His huge numbers practically bury the banks of the Shang'an. Faced with such a powerful enemy, Wu wavers between fighting and surrendering. Elsewhere, Liu Bei, after being driven from Jing, gains the services of the sleeping dragon, Zhuge Liang. In such tense times, what will this genius strategist suggest? Now, the strategies of Zhuge Liang are about to change the fates of Cao Cao, Sun Quan, and Liu Bei. Xin Pi, I see you have brought your daughter Xin Xian Ying with you. Thank you for joining our cause in this battle. Because of you two, the turmoil in Xi province finally shows signs of settling down. Xin Xian Ying. She was the daughter of Xin Pi, who served under Yuan Shao and Yuan Tan. After the Yuan family was eradicated, she and her father went to serve Cao Cao and helped to participate in quelling the chaos in Ji province. Cao Cao then used the momentum from his victory over Yuan Shao to move his forces south. He advanced his army on Chibi, determined to defeat Sun Quan, who refused to surrender. This battle would serve to greatly alter the course of history. Xin Qian Ying and Xin Pi met up with Cao Cao's forces, ready to take to the battlefield once more. Father, Master Cao Cao has come here to see you. Please try to look more cheerful. Ha! Huh. Master Cao Cao, I was not even able to save a single family. I'm a failure. You must be speaking of your brother's family, which was taken hostage by the UNs. I was sorry to hear of it. However, if you had not come, my pacification of Hebei would have taken much more time. Father, you should not be causing Master Cao Cao to worry about you like this. If we can overcome Sun Quan in Yang Province, the land will belong to you, Master Cao Cao. I vow to do my best to help you create a world where all people can know happiness. Thank you. Ah, Master Cao Cao, this is... There is no need to say anything further. You will never see the light if you continue to wallow in melancholy. Father, you must have the strength to smile no matter what life throws at you. You are blessed to have such a wonderful daughter, Shinpi. I know that I can count on you both in the trials we are sure to face. Our showdown with Sun Quan draws ever closer. If anybody has any doubts, I wish to hear them now. I would like to work on improving our naval readiness. An actual battle would be best, but we don't have the time for that. I've heard that there are bands of pirates in this region. Perhaps we should deal with them so they do not interfere with our battle plans. I fear there are many soldiers who will suffer from seasickness. I am worried that we do not have enough physicians. My only concern is that the scouts sent to check out Sun Xuan's camp have yet to return. Is it possible they were captured by the enemy? The enemy features two capable strategists in Zhou Yu and Zhuge Liang. 
there is a strong possibility that they have already planned something for us. Such as false rumors, for example. Or perhaps they have sent a forged letter. As such, it is important that we seek the absolute truth in all matters. Hmm. Thank you for your opinions, everyone. We are currently looking to face one army while turning our back to another. Ma Tang of Liang Province continues to grow in strength while we deal with Sun Quan. There are many enemies besides Sun Quan and Liu Bei determined to stop us from uniting the land. We cannot afford to waste any more time. Everyone, I need you to quickly dispel your doubts and misgivings and prepare for this showdown that awaits us. I'll be here if you need me. You need a horse? I'll be here if you need me. I feel terrible. Too many days at sea have made me sick as a dog. Someone near here has medicine? I've heard, but I'm too sick to go look.
want medicine for seasickness. Try some of this then. Brought me the medicine I needed. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wait, you're seasick? Then I've got a better way of dealing with it than taking medicine. What you do is tie all your ships together. That'll stop them from rocking, and no one gets seasick. I see. That's a good idea. Let's let everyone know and link the ships. Things turned out rather nicely. Marvelous! You fight with strength as well as cunning. I've been placed in charge of our naval training. I don't think I'm the right man for the job, though. I heard that taking on bands of pirates can be useful training. I'm not sure if I'll be any good, but I've got to give it a shot. Huh? You'll go with me? Thank you. Thank you so much. The enemy 
attack us here! Everyone prepare to defend this spot! That's enough for now. But I'll remember this. That certainly went easily. Uh, we lost the fight. Here I was hoping to work with these guys too. I I'm sorry! I promise to keep away from here! So, so please, just let us go! Let us enjoy this moment in the sun. That's it! Keep it up! So, is everything ready for the battle? The bandits have been dealt with. They will not bother us during the battle. It seems the men's seasickness has subsided somewhat. This should enable them to fight in the coming battle. In that case, I shall give the men a much-needed rest. We must keep their spirits high for the battle ahead. Our preparations for the upcoming battle are complete. We must take this time to rest and gain in strength and vigor for the challenge to come. I understand the reason why, but this is still a rather strange formation. Yes. This formation is for appearance's sake only. If we had more time, we could have done something to the ships themselves. But alas, we are lacking in both preparation and training. However, we possess the overall advantage in numbers, so... I'm curious how the enemy will come at us. I do not see them attempting to attack us on the water. I give that almost no chance of happening. You say that, yet you sound as if you still have some apprehensions. If something is bothering you, you should bring it up with our Lord. No, it's not so much that I have apprehensions. I just have a general feeling of unease. The winds have grown quite strong. A cook fire was just stirred up by the winds and almost turned into a full-fledged inferno. That reminds me, Soon Chuen is downwind of us. Shouldn't we be thinking about using a fire attack against him? That would be an option if we weren't on the river. Their navy ships are spread out, meaning a fire attack wouldn't be very effective. I see. Their navy is also well-trained. I didn't think it could be that easy. Anyway, our Lord has summoned us. Please, come with me. Very well. Let's go, Master Shunyo.
This time of year, the winds along the Xiangjiang blow to the southeast from the northwest. The winds are especially strong this evening. We should be arriving at the enemy's position shortly. This is the chance we have been waiting for. We shall cross the Xiangjiang and slay Sun Quan and Liu Bei. We can overcome our disadvantage on the water through sheer numbers and superior valor. Now, follow me to victory! We shall use these northwestern winds to obliterate the enemy. This is the end for Liu Bei and Sun Quan. Report! Strategist Zhuge Liang is acting suspiciously. Defeat him! Quickly! Xiao Xiao's forces have appeared on the opposite bank! Fire! Fire at them! We've got tens of thousands of arrows here. These stores make us invincible. He's a brilliant strategist. He must carry something here too. What? But but do this is terrifying. Just stay here. This shall be where we draw the line. Make preparations to defend this territory. Forces of South South. The Ulvain camp is right here, you mangy dog. First, we need to capture that area over there. Everybody, prepare to go to battle. Do this with a smile. You know, you actually possess a modicum of talent. Let's do this with a smile. <laughs> 
retreat for now. But next time, it will be different. That certainly went easily. Magnificent job. I'm glad you're on our side. <laughs> Possess a modicum. Let's do this with a smile. I shall return after reviewing my strategy. That certainly went easily. I'll let you go for now. I don't think you won. Yes. Most impressive. But tell me. Have you noticed the change in the wind? Uh, I'm getting Now! Set fire to South South's army! We need to burn down every last one of his ships! Let's do this with a smile! Hey! You're really doing well out there! I expect nothing less from you! carry out a plan like this, based on the sudden change of the wind. Was everything they did up to now simply a preparation for this flame attack? Can't be. Then, you think the enemy knew about this wind, and that's why they used the fire attack? Joe Yu. No. Jugo Young. This fire will leave a bitter taste. The enemy ranks must contain some astute individuals indeed to have caught us unaware like this. However, we must remain positive. By giving our all on the front lines, we can overcome this vicious blow we've been dealt. We've lost contact with our allies. We don't know if Lord Cao Cao is alive or dead. What should we do? At this rate, we are doomed to drown in the waters of the Shenzhong. We must fall back to Xiangyang. If Master Cao Cao has managed to make it out alive, he will surely meet us there to plan our next move. It is important to remain calm, even in the most desperate situations. We must work together and break through the enemy forces. I am worried about our Lord's whereabouts. We can only hope that he is okay.
Is that it for Duco Leon's strategy? Or is he planning something else? One guy's surrender seems to have been accepted without suspicion. The fire attack is a complete success. The Xiao Xiao forces are really panicking. Mr. Cheng Pu says that the enemy is approaching. We need to remain alert. Well, that didn't go like I planned it. I guess this is what they mean when they say a rat is most dangerous when cornered. We must stop the enemy here! Even at the cost of our lives! Master Zhou Yu's strategy at GB was flawless. I cannot afford to let our forces down now. We must stop the enemy here! Even at the cost of our lives! We must stop the enemy here! Even at the cost of our lives! It is clear I still have much to learn. I must look to Master Zhou Yu's example and devote myself to my studies. Stop the enemy here! Even at the cost of our lives! You've come here to try and claim this place? Sorry. You're way too late. I can't believe I got bored and let down my guard. I should be ashamed of myself for this loss. That certainly went easily. It is my duty to defend this gate. If you want to get past it, you'll have to go through me first. I hope you're prepared to face me. Let's do this with a smile. It is well known that Cao Cao's army has the advantage in land battles. However, that does not lessen the disappointment of my failure. Report! We've broken through the enemy lines and secured our escape route. We made it out alive. If we can hang on just a little longer, we can find a way to retaliate against the enemy. Report! We have located Lord Zhao Zhao. He is heading to the escape point. That certainly went easily. This <laughs> is... <laughs> What's so funny, Father? I thought you would be the last person to laugh at such a humiliating defeat. No, my son. Quite the opposite. We have not suffered a defeat like this since our failed attempt to assassinate Dong Zhuo. Would you agree, Sha Hodun? Hmm. I'd say the scale of the two incidents is ever so slightly different. Perhaps. But they share some similarities. They both cleared the way for me to proceed forward. Cao Cao. My path towards ruling the land remains intact. I shall put my life itself on the line in order to realize my ambitions. <laughs> it's hard to believe you're so positive after such a crushing defeat. I guess nobody can say you don't look to move past your mistakes. 
We are with you, my lord. We will stand by your side for as long as you seek to push forward. Spirit alone is not enough to accomplish anything. We must quickly rebuild our forces in order to regain our strength. Yes, you are right, my son. We must do everything in our power to quickly rebuild our army. The alliance of Sun Quan and Liu Bei was victorious at Chibi. The tantalizing prize of total control slips from Cao Cao's fingers, and he is forced to return in defeat to Xu Chang, where he works to recover. Now is the time to chip away at Cao Cao's overwhelming advantage. Sun Quan makes preparations to expand from Jiandong. Liu Bei's strategist will also not waste this opportunity. In a move to win Liu Bei his own country, Zhuge Liang quietly begins to act. Cao Cao, your accomplishments have clearly outshone most of my subjects. I think it's fitting that you be appointed Duke of Wei in recognition of your outstanding achievements. I have prepared ten provinces, including Chu and Qing, that you may rule in the name of Wei. Ha <laughs> ha! It shall be my pleasure to accept your generosity. Cao Cao. What else is it that your heart desires? I simply seek an end to the chaos that has befallen the land. I would be satisfied with that and that alone. Congratulations on being appointed Duke of Wei, my lord. Yes. Now I can look to focus on building up our strength once more. We must avenge the defeat we suffered at Chibi. My lord, I know it is too late to change anything, but I must reiterate that I do not support this move. Your path should follow that of the emperor. As soon as somebody thinks you plan to steal the throne, the land will find itself mired in war once again. Shun E, I want you to look after our administrative efforts in Shu Chung from now on. My lord, is this? I no longer have any need of your support. You should be relocated to a position that allows you to utilize your talents. Being appointed Duke of Wei then King of Wei, and ultimately Emperor. That is the quickest way for our Lord to bring an end to the chaos. However, that is merely in regards to us as a nation. If we also consider the hearts and minds of the people, then the dangers you raised are real. Our Lord's influence has already surpassed that of the Emperor. It is clear to any who see his appointment as Duke of Wei. That is exactly why we must decline it. Those who steal their way to power must acknowledge that whatever foundation they create may also be stolen by another. Maybe not now, but eventually. Although we are related, we have very different opinions on a variety of issues. I am content to follow our Lord's chosen path. However, if you feel it to be dangerous, 
You should notify our lord as such. I doubt that he will listen to me anymore. I have a feeling he no longer has any need for strategists who will not affirm the choices he makes. It matters not what people think of my talent if I do not have a ruler willing to listen to it. I have no idea how I should proceed.